Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. We're going to do another Lightroom tutorial today and I think what we'll do is just do some quick tips on using some of the different tools within Lightroom. We'll start off uh, by looking at the crop tool. So if we come over here to our right hand side here, you can see that below the histogram we have a series of tools. And going from left to right we have our crop tool, we have our spot removal tool, we have a red eye correction tool, we have a graduated filter, a radial filter and finally an adjustment brush. So let's have a look at what these tools actually do and how you use them and how you can help to start uh, developing your images within Lightroom. First off let's look at the crop tool so if we can click on the icon here for the crop tool or just press R on our keyboard and that's going to bring up our crop tool and you can see now that over the image we have these little handles on the corners and on each edge and we also have a grid layout over the image itself. So the grid layout there is showing us rule of thirds at the moment. We can adjust this grid layout um, if we come up to tools at the top here and we have crop overlay guide and the drop down from there you can see that we have different options grid, thirds, diagonal, triangle, golden ratio, golden spiral, aspect ratio and some others there. So at the moment you can see it's on thirds. If we click it on grid we can now see we've got a much smaller grid area pattern that if you uh, were working on finer details you could use that to line up certain areas. Um, let's change it again. Diagonal, if you were using diagonal lines and you had uh, diagonals that you wanted to line up within your image you have that option there. Triangles which divide the area up into various size triangles. Again you're using the diagonals as well that you can used for lining up certain images there, certain aspects of your image there. Golden ratio. There's a lot, of, we could go into a whole heap of details about golden ratio, about what it is and how it works, but we'll do that in another episode here, but that, that's giving you options for the golden ratio there. Gold spiral. Again, which is another huge area of composition we could look at uh, using the golden spiral. But obviously you can use that here within your images there. And finally, aspect ratios. So you've got various aspect ratios for your image. 5x7, five by, five by 4x5 uh, and 2x3, which is the default image. For now, we're going to go back to the rule of thirds. This is the one you'll probably use the most. You've probably heard of the rule of thirds as a compositional tool. It's a way of uh, balancing out your image using thirds of the image, either thirds of the way up, thirds of the way down, thirds of the way across either side. But for now, that's how that uh, grid area works within the crop tool. Coming down below now, you've now got a bunch of options that you can use within the crop tool. The first one here is aspect, and this is going to allow you to uh, crop the tool, but you, within certain aspect ratios. If you can see on this side here it says original which is the original uh, 3 by 2 aspect that the image was shot in and you can see here we've got a little padlock which is unlocked at the moment. With that padlock unlocked when you move the crop tool you're changing the aspect ratio. You're, you can move in that side there, you can move in the bottom there independently but you're changing the aspect ratio so there you'd have a very narrow image coming back out you could make it a very squared image. If we lock that padlock, that's going to constrain the proportions of the image. So at the moment, as I said, the aspect ratio on this image is a 3 by 2. Uh, and now that I've locked that, if you watch now, as I drag in, it maintains that same aspect ratio. So you can keep your image within the same aspect ratio as it was actually shot. Let's say you want to change that. You've got a drop down here and you, you, you have options as, as shot, original, custom, so you can create your own aspect ratio. One to one. Now one to one will give you a square aspect ratio. So if we click that, you can now see that our framing has changed to give it a square aspect ratio. And then you can move your image around to adjust it that way. And then you've got other options. Uh, four by five, eight by 10, so obviously 4x5 or 8x10 is the same aspect ratio, it's just doubled up there. 8.5x11, 5x7, 2x3, 6x4. 
So you have various aspect ratios there that you can enter. You can enter your own custom aspect ratio if you have a certain aspect ratio that you want. If you want it to look widescreen, if you have some specific uh, frame size that you need to do, you can enter that there. But I'm going to stick it back to original there. So there we go. That's that's basically how you change the aspect ratio of your image when you're cropping it. Coming down underneath that, we have an area called angle. And this is where we can start to straighten up aspects of, the, of an image. So we have a slider here. And if we move that slider, you can see that we tilt the image one way or the other. And the, the crop adjusts, as you can see, to be able to fit that angle adjustment. We can also use this little spirit level thing here, which is called the straightening tool, which will allow us to choose certain areas of an image, whether it be horizontal or vertical, to set angle of the image completely. So for example, we've got the Eiffel Tower here, and we know that the Eiffel Tower stands up tall and straight, so we know that that should be straight. We also have a horizon line here that should be straight. And I think on this image, they're slightly off, so let's use the angle tool here to adjust them. First, we'll do it vertically. Let's click at the top of the Eiffel Tower there, and if we drag down where we think the straight should be, like that, let go. You can see there, it very slightly adjusted the image so that the Eiffel Tower was completely vertical. Let's put that back to where it was. And we'll do exactly the same now, but we'll do it horizontally. So we'll click the angle tool and we'll use the skyline here as if it was the horizon. And we'll just run across there like that. Let go, and you can see again, it gave an ever so slight tilt to adjust the image. So there we go, that's all the functions of the crop tool that you have within Lightroom. That now allows you to crop your image to the uh, size you want, to the aspect ratio you want, and shows you how to straighten up any angles that might be off. For now, I'm Dave Vickers, this is The Photo Show. Thanks for watching, see you next time.